Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can record real-time audio out of your virtual instruments. So I got the idea from doing this from a Mr. Bill Masterclass, which I'll link to in the description, where he was talking about this concept of idea jams. In a nutshell, what this is, is that he'll get some really crazy sounding synth patch where he's got a load of effects on it, or he's using a sampler to manipulate audio in weird ways, and then he's got that running through a bunch of effects, or something like that, some sort of way of generating really crazy wild sounds. And then he'll just record all of the audio from that, just mess about with the settings while he's recording, and then he'll chop up that audio later and use it in his tracks so he can get some really crazy sounding sound design without having to spend a very long time automating things and tweaking parameters. So here I've just loaded up a channel strip with palindrome in. I currently don't have any MIDI keyboards or sequences connected to my computer, so I'm going to press Command and K, and that'll bring up this musical typing menu. So this allows you to press keys on your computer's keyboard and play notes with them. So if I press an A here, it will play a C2 note. So this is quite handy if you don't have a MIDI keyboard attached and you haven't programmed anything to the piano roll and you just want to demo some sounds. So in order to record the output from Palindrome, what I'm going to do is go to the channel strip and go to stereo out here. So this box here is basically telling you where the audio from that channel is going. So currently it's just going straight to the master out. So instead I'm going to select a bus out here. So I'm going to send it to bus four. It doesn't really matter what bus you're using as long as you remember which bus you're sending it to and you're not using it for something else. So now I'm going to press command alt and N and bring up a new channel. I'm going to select audio. And for the input, I'm going to select bus 4. So now, if I hit record, So everything I did in that little mess about with the plugin there has been recorded as audio and I can play that back now. So I can keep that audio, I can mess about with it, I can use it as it is, I can cut it up and use it in different places, I can do whatever I want with it. So if you've fully programmed and automated a synth part and you're perfectly happy with it, and you want to change it from MIDI into an audio file, this isn't a particularly good way to do that. So if you just want a specific region bounce to audio, instead what you should do is press Ctrl and B, and that will bounce just that specific region that you've highlighted. Or if you want to take the whole channel strip and bounce it all to audio, what you should do is press Ctrl, Command and B. Both of those options are generally going to be much quicker than setting this up and recording things in real time. So I'd recommend using them in a lot of cases. There are plenty of situations where recording things out in real time isn't really that great an idea. It's only if you want to actually mess about with the plugin and then get all of the audio from that. Also, it's good to remember that you can also record all of the automation you do when you tweak the settings by going down to this box here that says read and instead selecting touch or latch and that will record all of the automation data as you tweak things. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.